are 32 Indiana colleges and universities with teacher training programs. Many are tired and need updating, taught by professors long absent from high school classrooms. The Woodrow Wilson Foundation required change. We've gone to universities and we've told them, we want you to scrap your existing program and start over again. What we want you to do is create a program which doesn't focus on teaching, it focuses on student learning in the classes of your graduates. We also want a program that's clinically based. We want you to move it out of the ivory tower and largely into the schools. We want three years of mentoring after people graduate. And finally, we want evidence-based assessment. That's a lot to ask a university. That's an enormous amount. What we've offered are some incentives for doing it. We've offered 500,000 in matching money to make the changes in the curriculum. The reason for the 500,000 in match is that we want their skin in the game. This isn't just getting a grant, this is investment on the part of the university. What we wanted to do is bring teacher education into the schools and create a year-long clinical residency that would be modeled after a medical residency. Imagine that you could recreate a teacher education program. It had to work within our culture. It had to work within the culture of high needs school districts, and it would stand up to scrutiny. So how would you do that? So get in the sandbox and play. Purdue was the largest participating university. Here, fellows would work through a new master's program geared toward rural schools. Very few people are focusing on rural education, and there, there are high needs also in rural schools. Isolation, poverty also affect rural schools.